Hi, I'm Rebecca from Chemnitz, and today I am going to show the dyeing of this beautiful pale green gradient um, that I created from some dye that was left over from a project I was doing with my son, Lucas. I hope that you enjoy this fun little dip dyeing. So we've got the remaining dye and a lot, 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 lot of vinegar. And so I want to use it for something and just see what might be going on here. So I have a second skein of the same yarn and we're just going to bring this back to a boil. And then reduce the heat and then we're going to dip dye the yarn in it. All right, we are bubbling one. So let's See, that's a nice green. Maybe when we wash the other one, a lot of green will come out. Green, why aren't you? Why aren't you binding? Slowly, slowly add more. Is the bottom looking darker? Um, I guess we're a little blown out on the camera. Do, do, do. I'm not sure if it's actually that much darker there or. Or what? No, I think I'm definitely starting to get a gradient. So I have no idea exactly what um, is in there. But all right, I do see the water finally we're starting to clear. Um, so I think that if I had left Lucas's yarn in here, um, then we would have ended up with some, like, more all over green. So maybe, well, maybe the key isn't to use all nine colors all at the same time. Um, trying to, doing this with a low level of water is kind of hard. <laughs> All right, we're definitely getting a nice gradient. Um, it's just slow. Um, but I'm glad to see the colors start to clear, and I think that this will be a nice, really subtle um, skein of yarn. Okay, let's get I know, that stuff in a little more. Quickly, quickly add the tip just for a second so it's not stark white. Um, all right, I'm pleased <laughs> that. This remaining dye is binding, and you can see that we definitely have a nice uh, gradient, and most of the color has absorbed to the yarn. But I think I'll just leave this in the pot for five more minutes before removing it and allowing it to cool as well. So, yeah, if you have leftover dye from a space dyeing experiment or something that you're doing, you can use it and get some really cool, pretty yarn. So this is kind of a nice bonus gain. Woohoo! All right, I am going to remove this from the pot. And you can see that that water looks like it's 
almost completely clear. Whoops. And the way I put this in the darkest bit is kind of hidden down there. But we absolutely have a gradient of greens. And so, yay! Dip dang! <laughs> Our bonus yarn has cooled, and I'm going to add a little bit of Dawn de Soap to some water, and we will add our pretty, pretty green gradient. Look at that. That is so pretty. Um, and, you know, we, I don't think we'll see any color leaking. Yeah, that water is pretty clear. But if you did see some bleeding, um, you would rinse it multiple times until the water ran clear, and I'll rinse it, I'll empty the water and rinse it again to make sure that the, um, that there's no more soap in the yarn. And then we'll hang it up to dry and come back and share the finished yarn. Here is a finished dyed yarn where we start with a really pale seafoam green, and it gets progressively darker um, as we go to the end that went into the dye first. Um, I think that this is a gorgeous color that was remaining um, from when Lucas was dyeing his yarn. And I am glad that I removed his dye when I did, but it's nice to show that you can get something gorgeous, even with way too much vinegar in the pot, um, with, leftover, with leftover dye. And the other nice thing is that even when you don't have a lot of dye in the pot, you can still make a really, really beautiful, although subtle, dip dye gradient um, with colors. So dip dyeing can bring you extreme color changes as you go from really dark to really light. Or you can get something that's a little more subtle that will bring you some nice variation within your project um, but still be predominantly green. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and thank you for watching this bonus yarn dyeing of using leftover dye that had way too much vinegar in the pot. Um, but we created this phenomenal yarn. Make sure that you subscribe to the Chemnitz Tutorials YouTube channel for updates of when I go live and to find out about new videos that I add. I am Rebecca from Chemnitz and thank you for watching.